this is Kent Marco. Today, we're going to talk about creating basic titles with no plugins used. Create a new composition. Rename this to anything you want. This is a 1920 by 1080 composition, 30 frames per second and 15 seconds. The frame rate controls how smooth our videos are. For motion graphics, we use 29.97 to 30 frames per second. We'll leave it to 30. Create a new solid layer. Let's rename this to background and press OK. We're going to apply some gradients to our background layer. Go to Effect, go down to Generate, and select Gradient Ramp. You could also find it by the Effects and Presets browser. And search for Gradient Ramp. Double click or drag it to your layer. You can change the direction of your ramp. Adjust the start or end of ramp values as you like. We can also change the type of ramp. Let's change it to radial ramp. Swap the colors if you like to. Okay, let's change the color of our ramp. Create a new text layer by clicking the type tool in the toolbar. Let's type anything we want for now. Let's also change the font color. You can also type in the hex or RGB value of the color you want and then press OK. Let's change the font style of our text. Align it to the middle. Let's animate the scale attribute of our text. Go a few seconds forward and then place a keyframe and do it again. Convert it to easy ease by pressing function plus F9. Change the first one to a value of 0, the second to 115. You can move the next and previous keyframe by pressing J and K on your keyboard. We now have a bounce animation. Let's tweak our animation through the motion graph editor. We want our text to go fast then slow down in the middle of the animation. Let's preview the animation by pressing the spacebar. Great, we now have an elastic bounce animation. Let's refine it even more. And turn on motion blur. Looking awesome. Now, we want to make it more dynamic. We're going to add tracking animation to our text. Click the arrow button. Let's close this and go to text. Click on animate. You'll see different attributes we can manipulate. For now, we'll animate the tracking. You'll find the settings for the tracking here. Let's animate the tracking amount. To make our workspace clean, we can only display the attributes with keyframes on them by pressing U on the keyboard. Now we can see clearly. Move a few seconds forward and change the tracking value as desired. I set mine to 12. Let's preview this. Fantastic! Make it cinematic by making the tracking slower. And that's it for this tutorial! For the next tutorial, we'll level up our titles with parenting, pre-composing, and offset animation. If you like this video of Under Ideas by Kent Marco, support us on Patreon slash Kent Marco.